determine the normal stress in member BC, which is this one. Uh, which uh, whose the diameter is equal to 45 mm or dimensions are in mm okay so here's the uh, framed the diagram and I'm going to draw a free the diagram for this one so this is the free body diagram for it and we need to find the normal stress in this link this member CD BC okay so first taking a look uh, first looking at this one you see that this is at a pin joint you have a reaction force and over here another pin joint so you have another reaction force and these are the external forces okay so let's see can you use a summation about x and y x or y to find the unknown the question asks you to find the normal stress in this member BC so what you need to know is the normal force okay and how do you find the normal force well you need to know the angle in this for reaction force okay because this distribute the normal force into this member all right so we need to know this force and in order to know this for you may need to know this one or not need to know this one depending on the way you approach the problem okay so if I want to fight this one I cannot use a summation about why because I have two unknowns and there's no reaction force and there's no uh, unknown for me to use the summation about x so summation of fx is useless here alright so what left is the moment so because this is in equilibrium I can use a moment so what reference point should I pick because I need to have because I need to find the force for this one so I can pick the reference point here 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 if I pick it here I still have two unknowns here two unknowns but if I pick it here I have only one unknown okay so let's take a moment about point A and assume clockwise is positive so I have this four. Let's start with this four first, left to right. So I have twenty times the distance. Distance from here to here is uh. So you have from here to here is three thousand. Here to here is uh one thousand. So you have four thousand. And this is in clockwise direction, so positive. This force, clockwise direction, positive. Fifteen times the distance between here and here. So you have three thousand, three thousand, six thousand times fifteen. Now, for this force, you have a counterclockwise, so negative CY times distance from here to here, which is 7,000. So you have negative 7,000 CY. Well, actually, a negative 10,000, so 3, 3, 6, 4, 10, 10,000 CY, okay? So for CY, I got a CY equals 17 kilonewtons. All right, now let's find the angle between member BC and the horizontal line. So you know that this form uh, this form a triangle and you know the horizontal uh, distance which is 4000 the vertical distance which is 3000 and this is the right angle so you can use a Pythagorean theorem to solve for actually a, a go the wrong direction so you know this length and this length and this is a right triangle so this angle can be calculated by using the trigonometry tangent so tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent which is 3 over 4 so then theta equals tangent inverse of that which gives me 36.87 degrees now to find the force in this now if you, if you want to find the force in this member that is equal so you have side theta equals so side of this one side equals opposite over hypotenuse okay so you have this force fy so pointing up okay so I can do it over here because it's up so you can 
move it around as long as it's uh, pointing up and form a triangle. So for better represent, uh, representation, so see why you can bring it up here and it's form a triangle. So side theta equal opposite over hypotenuse and opposite is CY. Hypotenuse is BC. So I can solve for BC, which is CY over side theta, which is 17,000 over side of 36.87 degrees. Then I got BC equals 23,333 newtons. Now, the normal stress in member of BC is equal to the normal force BC divided by the area of BC. So BC in the normal force BC is what we just found, 28,333 newtons. The, norm, uh, the area of BC is equal, so this is a, a cylind cylindrical member, so the area is pi over 4 times the diameter squared. And you are given the diameter of 45 mm, so every information is given. So you should be able to find the number of stress. Then punches in calculator, you got 17.8 megapascal. So that is the number of stress in member of PC. That's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.